Good morning to everyone. We will continue with the topic arithmetic progression. We have seen arithmetic progression is a progression in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to a preceding term. Suppose we have taken 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 in that way. We obtain 3 by adding 2 to the previous number. 5 we got by adding 2 to the previous number 3. That is arithmetic progression. Now how to find out the nth term of this progression for that we have derived one formula a n equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Certain application also we have done on that. Certain questions we have solved on the basis of that. Now we will write another formula. If you want to add the uh, certain number of terms of a b. Suppose you want to add 5 terms, 6 terms, 7 terms. Then also we got one formula Sn equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into 2. The formula is Sn equal to n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into b. This is the formula for sum of n terms of an AP. A sequence which is an AP. And if you want to find out the sum of all the terms of AP, suppose we got 1, 3, 5, 7. These numbers are in AP. If you want to find out the addition of the first four terms of this AP, the addition is 1 plus 3, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 7, 16. This addition can also be obtained by using the formula. If the number of terms are very small, suppose we got only three terms or four terms, we can easily find out the sum. What is the sum of n terms of AP we need to find out if the number of terms is more? Suppose 10 terms you got, 12 terms you got, 15 terms you got. And if you want to find out the sum of all these 15 terms, then in that case it will be difficult for us to find out each of the term and to add. If some grade is given 76 term, one by one we cannot add each of the values. It will be complicated. For that we use this formula. How to apply this formula, how to derive this formula, all that I'll show in this particular class. We consider an AP. We are doing the derivation. How we want this formula? Application will do later on. Sum of first n terms of an AP. We are trying to find out the formula for sum of n terms of an AP whose first term we consider as A and the common difference we consider as D. For that, let us suppose first term of AP as A and common difference D. Number of terms, n. These are the three things we have considered from our side. The first term is a, common difference is d, and number of terms we have considered as n. To find out the sum of all these terms of a, a p, then the a p is, the first term we have considered as a, Second term is a plus d because the first term is added to the common difference that we use to get the second term. Second term is a plus d. Next term again to obtain the next term, we add b to it, therefore it becomes a plus 2d. In this way, if we continue, at last we are getting n term as a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the nth term of an AP. In previous class, we have discussed how to find out the nth term of an AP. Therefore, an AP we got whose first term is A, common difference is D, then the AP will be A, A plus B, A plus 2D, and the last term will be A plus N minus 1 into D. In this particular class, we are trying to find out sum of all the terms of the AP. And we are representing it as SN. SN represents sum of N terms of an AP. Sum of n terms of this AP will be the first term we got as A. We are adding all these terms because our aim is to find out the sum. 
second term is a plus d third term is a plus 2d in this way the last term we got a plus n minus 1 into d this is the last term first term is a second term is a plus d third term is a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d in that way we got the last term as a plus n minus 1 into d now the same number the sum of these numbers can also be written in reverse order suppose you got the numbers 1 3 5 7 if you are in these numbers 1 3 5 7 the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 9 plus 7 16 we got if you are at right from this side 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 5 9 plus 7 16 we got what if you take in reverse order 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 3 4 7 plus 5 12 plus 3 15 plus 1 16 again we are getting the same sum therefore no matter from which side you have started to add the addition will remain as it is because the numbers these are natural numbers they are uh, commutative as well as associative addition of Integers, addition of natural numbers will not affect the answer if you are starting it from the beginning to the end or end to the beginning. In reverse order, we are adding the addition will remain as this. Same way, if you got S N as A A plus B A plus N minus one into B, if you are writing in reverse order, last term which you got, we are writing here A plus N minus one into B. Last, at last, which you got, we are adding first. Whatever you got, the second last, second last will be a plus n minus two into b. Second last was a plus n minus two into b. Third last will be a plus n minus two into b, three into b. Means d will be subtracted from each of the term. This is the first, last one. The next we got a plus n minus two into b. In reverse order we are taking. In reverse order the second class will be a plus b, and the last we will get as a. We have taken the sequence in reverse order. Well, first we have added one three five seven, one three five seven. Now we are doing in reverse order seven five three one. We know that the addition will not change; it will remain as it is. So we are writing each of the values as S n. Only we have taken S n. The sum of all these, this will also be S n. It will not affect the answer. Therefore, the sum will be again S n. To derive this from the S n equal to n by two into two a plus n minus one into d, we add all these values. If we are adding it S n plus S n, it will become two S n. If we add in the first term, this one as well as this, this is a, this whole thing, it will become two a plus n minus one into d. A plus a is two a, n minus one into d. We have copied as it is. This is the sum of first two terms of these two things. When we add in these two, a plus a, it will become two a plus b is added over here. If we take d common, here we get n minus two, and here we get it plus one. n minus two plus one will become n minus one into d. Same way we continue. Same thing we have when a plus a is two a plus n minus one into d, and the last one also two a plus n minus one into d. Each of the time we are getting the sum of first term of both these a b is as two a plus n minus one into two a plus n minus one into two a plus n minus one into d. Till last we got the same value. We are not getting any change. Now this two a plus n minus one into d, two a plus n minus one into d, two a plus n minus one into d is added how many times? This is one time we found it. This is the first time we got two a plus n minus one into two a plus n minus one into d plus the third time in that way we got this is the last term which is considered as nth term. Therefore, it is the nth term. Same. 
this 2a plus n minus 1 into d is added n times. And if you are adding a number n times, suppose you are adding 5, 3 times, 5 plus 5 plus 5, this can be plus d to 5. Even if you got uh, a bundle of 100 rupees note, if you want to count it, yeah, you are counting in this way, 100 plus 100 plus 100 in that way you are counting or just counting the number of notes you got and at last you are going to multiply this by 100. You also 5 rupees note you got, 3 5 rupees note you got, you count the number of notes you got into 5, 5 into 315. You also, SL is 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 2 sl is n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And this 2a plus n minus 1 into d is added n times. Therefore, addition of all these will be n times of 2a plus n minus 1 into d. This twice of sl will be equal to n times of 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Or sl will be equal to n by 2 of 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Because 2 if you are bringing it down, this will become the formula for sum of n terms of an AP. Expecting that you understood this, sum of n terms of an AP, this is the formula we are going to apply in rest of the questions. There is another formula that also we will derive just now. With the help of this particular formula, this 2a can also be written as, we are adding the same formula as equal to 2a can be as a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. Because this 2a are adding two times a plus a. And a plus n minus 1 into d, a plus n minus 1 into d is a n. Then what are you going to get? S n equal to n by 2, a plus this is the formula for a n. So for s n equal to n by 2, a plus a n. This is the formula for sum of n terms of n a p. Got two formulas. In some cases we use this formula, in some cases we use this formula. This formula is applicable everywhere. This scale can be used when uh, n as well as an both are given. But it reduces the step, therefore in some cases we can use this formula also. Expecting that both these formulas you understood, derivation is much more important. The much important part we are going to do just now, that is the application, how to add the n terms of an AP using the formula. We'll write certain questions we try to solve it. Just keep the formula in your mind and substitute each of the values. You know the meaning of each of the term. A is the first term, first term of AP. N is number of terms. D is the common difference. A N is nth term of an AP. Therefore, all these values has to be substituted in proper place, do the proper calculation, then sum of n terms of AP you can get easily. Let me show certain questions here to this. The questions are, you have written the formula for n term of AP. Find the sum of following AP. Find the sum of following AP. We write one AP, we find out A, D, and N, whatever is required, and we substitute the formula to find out the sum of N terms and AP. The question is to find out the sum of N terms of this AP. Formula is same. Put the values, get the answer. The AP is minus 37, minus 33, dash, 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 12 terms. X is actually minus 29, that is also given. Three terms are given. Means very often, three terms of the beginning will be given, and at last number of terms will be given. The question is, what will be the sum of all?
all these terms of an AP whose first term is minus 37, second term is minus 33, third term is minus 29. In this way, we got 12 terms. What will be the sum? That's the question. Formula, just keep in mind, substitute it. Before that, we require certain things. That is the first term. Alternate is given in AP, therefore we don't have to check it. If it is not mentioned, it is an AP, then you have to check whether it is an AP or not. If it is an AP, then only we have, we can use the formula of n terms of an AP. But it is already mentioned, it is an AP, we are not going to check it. How to check whether it is an AP or not? Find out the difference of two consecutive terms. That is, minus 33, minus minus 37, which is what? 4. Minus 29, minus minus 33, that is also 4. The difference of two consecutive terms, in each case we are getting same, that is 4. Therefore it is an AP. But we don't have to check it here, because already mentioned, it's an AP. Then what do you do? Just find out A, just find out B, just find out N, and find out in the formula. Put the values in the formula, get the answer. A, first term is minus 37. Common difference, that is minus 33, minus minus 37. From the second term, subtract the first term. That is minus 33, plus 37, it becomes 4. It's very important to find out the value of D. If you are subtracting, by mistake we are subtracted, second term from the first term, the answer will be coming wrong. Therefore, make sure from the second term, you are subtracting the first term. Always subtract the first term from the second. First and second term, put the minus sign, and after that, this number. Subtraction we got as 4. Number of terms, in this case, we got 12. 12 terms are there. After getting all these values, we write the formula. The formula is less than equal to n by 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. That's the formula for sum of n terms of an AP. Put values as n equal to divided of n we got as 1. 2 into a. A we got as minus 37 plus N, N is 12 and D we got as 4. N minus 1 into D. And let us say. S N equal to 12 by 2, 2 into A, our A is minus 37 plus 12 minus 1, n minus 1, n we got as 12 minus 1 into d, and d of a calculate this now as 4. 1 by 2 is 6, 2 into 37 is minus 22, that is 11 into 4. 6 into minus 72 plus 44. 6 into minus 30, that is minus 8 that's the answer. That is the sum of n terms of an AP. Expecting that you understood this. You don't have to do anything. Just put the values in the formula. Why not n? Why not a? Why not d? Put the values, get the answer. One more question to do. Find the sum. Here the find the sum of the following AP, the formula we have applied. The next question is find the sum. At this time, AP is given in some other way. The question is 34 plus 30. This is 32. 30 is that way we got the last term as 10. Don't consider both the questions are same. It is not exactly the same. Earlier we got the number of ter terms as 12, but here the number of terms is not given. The value of the last term is given 10, therefore this is not n. This is the value of a n. 
last term of the same is 10 this is not the value of n this is the value of an because here plus sign is given in previous question it was given that that has 12 terms it was not given plus sign we don't know the value of 12 term what was the 12 term we don't know but the number of uh, terms was 12 but here in this question the value of the last term is last term we have to consider the last term as time formula is same sn equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d here the problem is the value of n is not given we try to find out the value of n we consider let the last term 10 is the nth term of this ap consider 10 is nth term of this ap Very often, this type of question used to come in the examination where the value of the last term will be given because number of steps will increase in this particular question as compared to the previous question. In previous question, you directly put the value of n a as well as b. But here we first consider suppose 10 is the nth term of the C A P. That means a n is 10. The value of a n is the formula for a n. In previous exercise, we have learned a plus n minus 1 into d. A plus n minus one into d. This is the formula for a n. We have put in the value. Now here a is thirty-four. B is thirty-two minus thirty-four. Always from the second term we have to subtract the first term. Thirty-two minus thirty-four. It becomes minus two. Number of terms is not given. And the value of the tenth term, that is, a n, is given as ten. These are the values given. We substitute the values. We try to first find out n, and then we find out s n. A, a is here twenty-four. Number of term is not given. The value of d is minus two, and the value of a n is ten. It becomes thirty-four minus two n plus two equal to ten. Or 32 plus 2 minus 10 equal to 2n. We can transpose the 2n other side and become plus 2n. Then we have got the side. 34 plus 2 is 36. 36 minus 10 is 26. Therefore, 26 equal to 2n. Or n equal to 26 upon 2. That is 30. The value of n we got as 30. But our aim was not to find out value of n. Our aim was to find out the sum of n terms of the CP. After getting this value, we put it in the formula. One more thing which we got, we put in the formula for S N. S N is n by two. Either you can apply two a plus n minus one into d, or you can apply. A plus n. Just remember the value of n we got as thirteen. We have two options. One of the options is the first formula as n equal to n by two a plus a n. Put the values here. N after calculation we got thirteen. Put that value of n as thirteen by two a. First term we got as Thirty-four. First term we got as thirty-four, and a n. Here is last term. The value of last term we got as ten. If you want, you can use the other formula. S n equal to n by two. Two a plus n minus one into d. That formula can also be used. But here, if you are putting directly, we are getting the answer. The uh, calculation will be easier. That's why I am preferring this one. If you are sure about the other formula, if you want to remember only one formula, then you can use that formula also. Put the values now. This is thirteen by two into forty-four. Two ones are two twenty-two ones are twenty-two threes are sixty-six. Twenty-two ones are twenty-two and six twenty-eight. Two eighty-six. Therefore, sum of n terms of this AP. Total number of them 
Bhagavatam will put us 30. If you have started from 34, 32, 30 and that way, till 10 if you want to add, the sum will be 286 and the number of terms will be 13. Expecting that you understood this, certain other question also you have to practice. You have to practice otherwise you will get difficulty in some of the questions. The formulas are not, not much more, only two formulas we learned till now. These formulas have to be applied in proper places. Put the values, get the answer. I don't think you will have any difficulty if you are using that. And uh, tomorrow we continue with the uh, same formula, same uh, AP, some of end terms of AP, certain other questions I will show. And after that, we will continue next day. Thank you. Tomorrow onwards, we will continue with the same topic.